Hi, class. I'm at the uh, Coletto train station. We're heading to Rome today. That's my little update. And I want to talk about both, uh, the novel passing and the middle passage as it relates to the novel we're reading, Middle Passage. Um, passing involves moving from one state of identity into another. And what's unique about it is once you pass, you are unable to return. White folks, as you saw in the novel Passing, can go to Harlem and then they can always return back to their white identity. It's a revolving door for whiteness. It's about mobility, it's about freedom of movement, and it's certainly about the legacy and trauma of slavery. So what Claire feels is being trapped in this sort of magical whiteness that she escaped to far above Irene in terms of class and identity, uh, but losing that contact with a black community. What's interesting about Irene is she's actually kind of moved into a region of black identity that very much resembles sort of Victorian white middle class life. And she has really no contact almost with black history. She's in touch with the top 10%, the talented 10th, and their little world. But as soon as Brian wants to talk about lynching, wants to talk about the middle passage that of course black, brought black folks to America to begin with, that trauma is Un, unknowable for her. She can't visit it again. So thinking about what Charles Johnson is doing in Middle Passage, which we'll do for our next little video, is to think about that original crossing uh, and the trauma of that crossing and the fact that that's a novel that moves back and forth. Um, so think about liminality, think about the arbitrary nature of whiteness. It's fluid, it's flexible but it's also a territory that claims and can claim you. And so uh, our keyword for this video is spoleto. Thank you.